Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Today, I just need to, this is kind of like my a therapy for me, I guess, because I've, I've visited this topic multiple times over, you know, the year and a half that I've been doing YouTube videos, but it's this, and it's this concept of the of a not so secret secret to book selling it, that I have to remind myself of every so often. And I, I just had a, a, it proven to me once again with this book that I just sold uh, I, was, I sold it for $13. I bought it at a state sale uh, for like 50 cents. It was a paperback. And it's this 1964, you know, fishing, Southern Angler's Guide. Kind of cool, kind of cool cover, you know. But here's the deal. I've had this book for uh, over six months, eight months. And there so was something about it. And I had it with a set of other uh, fishing books, right? Some of these vintage, this, these were like from the 20s, right? And I did a video when I found these at an estate sale. It was in a basement of this house here in town, here in Alabama. And they were reasonably priced. You know, they they have some some decent resale value, some of, you know, anywhere from that $10 to $25 range, depending on age. But there's something about these that they set on my desk, like right next to my computer. I had photos taken of them, and there was something about them that just I didn't want to list them. I just felt like it was difficult. Maybe it was describing them. Like I already had the photos, but they just sit there. And I would put other books on top of them. And, you know, then I would list those books and I wouldn't, and they would be in my photo queue to, 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 to do the listing. And there was just something mentally that mentally that was making me not list these books just from, it felt like an effort thing. And I and I, I try to unpack that and understand it because here's the secret or the not so secret secret. I finally got around to listing them. And they were easy to list once I got started because I did the one and it formed basically a template for this kind of book in the category, all being paperback fishing. There were a lot of things I didn't have to change and they listed fast once I got one of them done. And this one, it sold for 13 bucks. I listed, you know, for thirteen ninety nine or something, it I listed it like at ten o'clock at night. I woke up the next morning; and it already sold. So, <laughs> I mean, that's the you know not, that's the not so secret secret, right? If you if you don't list it, it will not sell. And I'm amazed all the time at things that I've procrastinated on, the state of my death pile that I just for whatever reason, and I don't understand that psyche part of it, why I felt that way about these fishing books. I find that happens a lot. A book that's been sitting there and it, I, I, I get the listing done and then it'll sell quick. I mean like super quick. And then you think about all of that time that you just put it off and not to mention the shelf space, the, um, you know, it's your, your profit potential, all those things that you just delay in that was unlocked by that effort. So anyway, this, this is, I guess a little bit of, um, therapy for me, for me, but it's also for you. If you, um, we, it's something to just constantly remind yourself. If you, you know, we see cool, we buy cool, but if you don't list it, it will not sell. And I'm, I'm reminded of that all the time. I've been doing this for years and it's, you know, there's certain things in life we get busy with or parts of the process that we don't enjoy as much. Although I've had a couple of viewers that say they love listing. It's their favorite thing. And you know, they're disturbed individuals, but you know, anyway, um, I hope you're seeing cool, buying cool, cool. And then most importantly, I hope when you're getting it home, you're, you're listening it so it can sell because that is the not so secret secret. If you don't list it, it will not sell. So that's it. Hey, thanks for the view. I hope you are having a good time, you know, and it's all this heat that we've had here in Alabama. I hope hopefully you're not as hot as I've been the last month. And, um, you know, finding cool stuff, listening to it, and thanks for the channel support, subscribing, and uh, comments, and all of that kind of stuff. It's amazing that the channel's grown how it is, and you know, for all you longtime guys that have been around watching, watching my stuff, I sincerely appreciate it. And you keep watching, I'll keep doing it. And you know, for new viewers, hey, subscribe, keep coming back. We'll keep doing it, see what happens. So again, take it easy. Talk to you soon. Bye.